Hello YouTube. Welcome to Tommy Surfs. Yes, you just saw me miss probably one of the better waves at Pulsa Chica in the last few months. Yeah, it was a terrible heartbreak. And sadly, I did it twice. And I was too embarrassed to actually post videos of me doing it a third and fourth time. I just couldn't make it to the section. But the reason I'm posting this video is because I've been curious what the size limits on a wave war for the seaside. And maybe you are too. And I think for down the line, holding, a, uh, holding the line to get barreled, it's quite a few feet bigger than this day. So I think this day is maybe what, four to five feet? Um, the sets were six and seven maybe, but they were a little further south of me. And I think this board will be fine. Uh, like I said, just holding the line. One thing I did notice is because of the size, the board tends to go a little faster and it's kind of like skipping a rock or if you've ever skipped down a face of a wave you can't break the surface so once you get going a certain speed uh, the seaside does get a little harder to turn because of the whip so even though this isn't a big wave in that first turn i had too much speed so i couldn't control it and i couldn't set my rails but having that width and volume you know makes it easy to drop in just wish I was better positioned for all those waves. But all in all, I think the Seaside is a pretty all around good board. And I'm very happy with it. I'm just very disappointed in myself. So I'll leave you with this. It's definitely a board that you need to have in your quiver. And I just recently got out on my Glazer, the new one, and I'll be posting that video soon give you kind of a spoiler it's probably another board you'd want in your quiver all right till next time like and subscribe please it would really help me out